And welcome back to more Hyrule's Resurrection. And I finally made it to level 3 after uh, several mini dungeons. Actually, take on the actual level 3. I mean, you needed the red candle just to get into this place in the, you know, in the first place. Alright, so you want to go right first. And you find these flashy... Uh, flashy tectites. And you notice your sword beams don't work. You gotta whip out the arrows. Because I think that's the only thing that works on them. Yeah, it kind of looks purplish. I'm just trying to really note that 10 group Yeah, And a blue dark nut. Luckily, you got these blocks to kind of help you a little bit, and it's only one. Oh, that's gonna be great. Uh, I don't know how many. Okay, just instant respawn in these some of these rooms. That's not gonna... not a pleasant thing. I guess that's good for refills in case you need some. Okay, this can be a little bit of a problem. For the ball and chain guy. You gotta be very careful when you're attacking this guy. Because that's a pretty wide range and how far it can swing out at you. Unfortunately, I don't have the item that kind of helps me out with this. So you gotta be kind of careful and just kind of, uh, Keep moving, you know, you don't want to stay still. And you know, it kind of makes like three rotations before it. I think three rotations. So you can kind of. That way, that lets you kind of judge when you can really go into a. attack that thing. Now, and mind you, I think that ball and chain guy does two hearts per hit. So that can be a real, uh breaker there. Alright, nothing much in this room, just one blue dark nut. that big jar there for later. Oh, luckily I got a lot of money to throw away. And this room does have a clue, you just gotta find it.
Just a little FYI for you there. So I guess the warrior is that statue. Take you to one of these interesting rooms. Interesting corridor. Apparently, this one got stretched out a little bit. And that's a nice addition to see. White sword is always helpful to pick up. Good to get some more firepower. I think the the sword beams have a different animation. You know, it's like stars. Okay, this room. Uh, these blue tech types, you need the white sword. So you'd be stuck if you didn't get it, so you're gonna have to pick up the sword. Very interesting how uh, the creator makes this sword required. Chain guy here. Yeah, I had to be pretty conservative when battling this thing. At least it doesn't take as many hits now. All right, nothing you can do about this room. Yeah, you can tell what you're gonna get in this place. Items correctly because you get one's weak to uh, the arrows and the other's weak to the white sword. Uh, hooray for instant respawn. Luckily, not every room has this, and again, I don't think the ball and chain guys respawn. This room is just a one-headed Gleon, okay. Oh, he pumped up the endurance on this thing. Yeah, like twice as much HP as a regular one. Still felt like I had like a wooden sword or something. Oh, 
Not sure what the shape of this place is supposed to be. I guess it's supposed to be a tomb. Get back to the left side. Now we got our extra key. Oh, goody. Bat rope keys. Must be fun. And a good thing they drop refills. Including fairies there, so that actually can help uh, narrow down damage if you get swarmed. I think this is where you came from, so you want to go down the center passage. Well, at least, uh, looks like they only did Half a heart, actually. I thought they would do one heart. Yeah, the spikes are there because remember, you can only open chests from the bottom. your long shot. They don't do a heart and a half a hit, and I think they only do half a heart, so it makes things a little more bearable. Alright, now you can do something in this room, because long shot will go across the entire uh, width of this uh, room. Another one of these guys. As long as you keep moving, you're fine, actually. Because the ball, uh, you know, the ball and chain should miss you, as long as he's not point-blank range. You should be able to dodge it every time. Regular tech tights. Uh, 
I'm not sure if there's respawn in that room. No, just a fairy. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't stun these. Heart somewhere, otherwise I'll just use the fairy. Might as well. Although I'm thinking of just saving that for later. Because uh, this room you have a big tech type. Uh, the good thing arrows work. And I don't think this thing can get into the doorway. Maybe it can get in with that, actually. It's not looking good here. Yeah, at least I got rid of that. Kind of sucked on that battle. But, good thing I left the fairy for this room. So, get some backup there. Now, you will notice there's no Triforce in this room. And there is a reason for this. This is just trollage here. And this is just mean. I'm not even kidding you, that is just mean to do. I mean, I was tempted to just come back here later, but there's no real advantage. Oh, thank goodness arrows do damage, because this would have been really bad otherwise. And you can't even hide in the doorway for that. Okay, that was a pretty sucky battle, but... Well, you got through it, at least. It really should have been that should not have been that difficult. Man. Could have done a lot better, but well, what can you do? The thing moves too randomly, and then you see how big it is. It covers the entire screen. I don't think there's a safe spot you can go onto. Not to my knowledge. Alright, so now that we've cleared out level 3, now will take a break and uh, next part we'll do some more exploration. And then we have a long shot. Alright, see you guys later.